For some young people in Garden City in Savannah, violence and gang life is a world all too familiar. But local and state leaders are working to help change that and keep them off the streets. Our Jackson Kurtz has more on their plan. Well, Saturday afternoon's meeting here at the Empowerment Center focused on initiatives and programs that leaders hope young people will use to break the cycle of incarceration for young people in Savannah and across Georgia. A lot of people that have different meetings and rallies and all the above, but today we got to go somewhere. For Representative Carl Gilliard and other youth leaders, keeping our kids out of the justice system is a task that needs everyone's support. I asked them to come down today because we wanted to do something about the problem. State officials, youth organization leaders, and other community members all attended Saturday's meeting at the Empowerment Center. That's what we want to do. We want to, get, we want to help the lives of young people and transform these lives of young people and give them something different than just going to a detention center. Give them something different than... Um, criminal activity and gangs. At the meeting, folks had the chance to ask questions on how they can help to get young people off the street and also hear from leaders who are trying to do just that. Whether it's jobs, whether it's mentorships, whether it's if you got somebody that's, you know, needs their, their um, yard cut, leaves raked, anything. This we got to figure out. We got to get them busy. For guest speaker Dr. Rashad Ritchie, seeing young people go in and out of the justice system is something he can relate to. I was a juvenile delinquent. I became a gang member at 12 years old. I was a gangster disciple. You know why? Because I wanted unity. I wanted connection. Now, as he reflects on many of his accomplishments since that time, he hopes others will hear his story and give young people a chance to live a positive life full of potential. Without the opportunity of employment, I wouldn't be here today. That saved me from going back to the street life. They didn't realize that I had the capacity in me, even back then, to be everything I am today. That's how I want you to look at every juvenile delinquent you see. That every single one of them walking around, they are brilliant, they have capacity, they have strength beyond your understanding, and they simply need the connection of opportunity. State leaders in the juvenile justice system hope to bring more volunteers to Savannah and work with other youth organizations. In Garden City, Jackson Kurtz, WJCL 22 News.